So what is your YouTube video about? My YouTube video? Whatever it's gonna be about, man. It's up to you to decide. Oh yeah? What yeah, is your yeah. content usually about? Random shit. So this is yeah. your opportunity for your random shit. So oh. yeah, you're on now. And take it away when you're ready, man. Well, give me something to Oh, see. tonight, Dan. Tonight was what fun. What did we do? We went to uh, Little Caesars Arena. We watched the... NBA uh, Pistons game versus Suns, and that was pretty cool. Okay. I just uh, never been to an NBA game before like that live, which was pretty cool. And then we crossed back into Canada and we checked out the. Um, what was that bar? Brandon? Okay, I'm gonna be straight up with you, man. Your itinerary for the night is probably not gonna be the most compelling thing for the audience. <laughs> That's fine, brother. That's fine. You, know, if you're looking for content, I'm not the cat. The I'm sure you are, man. Either, There's yeah. gotta be things that you, like you, that are interesting that you you uh, did in your life, right? It's better than we got off the bus and we had some hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, no. Nothing. Uh, uh, my life, man. My my life has been a ride. Well, then tell me about it. Tell me about the ride. I spent eight years with the most horrible people you could ever think of. Like what? Crack dealers? Uh, crack dealers? Cops? Was it cops? <laughs> cops so you think of the people that the crop that the cops picked up. They did their time. Yeah. And once they were done their time, they were sent to a location where they didn't need any drug test or like past criminal check all they needed was to be able to show up to work okay so that's who i ended up with I so feel like I, cops are still worse but sure I, <laughs> I i potentially i don't know but i dealt with people who were sociopaths so what would happen if this was like a workplace that you worked at yeah i worked in fort mcmurray and okay. it was um a type of people who were kicked out of the prison system and then once they were done with the prison system, no one else in like reality would hire them. So they except your workplace, correct. So why were you working there? Was nobody hiring you either, or is this um, coincidence? It's the reason I went there. It was for wealth. For what? Wealth, money. Just for money. money. But like, don't all jobs pay? Or is this like super good? It's, it was super good. It was just like let's say for an example, we were making fifteen dollars an hour in Windsor, Ontario. I was making $35 an hour. All right. And the other guys, like the inmates, former inmates, were also making that rate? Correct. That's crazy. Yeah. So they took all kinds, all walks of life. But what kind of job was this? It was um, building oil field refineries. Okay. Okay. So building pipeline, building anything related to the oil field, natural gas industry right. in Fort McMurray, Alberta. Right. And that's where I spent my formative years. And, and you I hated was, it? Um, well, the I, money was good, but... The money was good, but I didn't know I hated it, but because of being indoctrinated by the situation. Yeah. So, like, what was, like, terrible about it? Like, these guys, what would they do? They said they're, like, the worst people, right? So... Yeah. What was bad about them? Like, was it just that they had a bad background, or, like, they actively were being <laughs> bad people? Actively being bad people. So, what would they do? You wa ever watch the, um... Shawshank Redemption? Yeah. Long time ago, though. The first two years was like how I spent my first two years in Shawshank. <laughs> it was the Shawshank Redemption re real life? Seriously, yeah, it was. It was pretty tough. Like, what? You're, like, making tools and getting shanked and shit? Like, yeah, it was pretty rough, like, where you had to have protection. Like, guns on you at all times? No, not so much guns, but just protection of just groups of people gang because, members seriously like, yeah you had to make factions at your job yeah yeah to not get shanked well not it it was so much for protection because you knew if you were so and so's buddy they wouldn't fuck with you so what happens if they do fuck with you like what what's like what what does um, getting so fucked with look so like so to me straight up like seriously they come and fuck you at your job well, while you're building be, pipelines they it, pipe your pipelines it would be at night like in the dorms or whatever correct down yeah I'm guessing no women at this place either no no mitch seen me through that time eh? and it was uh it was pretty tough and it wasn't it, it was my own like reasons for being there because i wanted wealth or whatever it was 
But then... Um, you decide it's not worth it? I spend eight years there. Eight years is a long time. Yeah. But the eight years can change a person too, right? It's yeah, bigger right. than wealth after eight years. Yeah. So what, what made you quit at the end? Like, what was uh, the straw that broke the camel's back? I had... I was done. I reached a point where I was done. Where are you? You know how in life you reach a certain point where you've had your fill of the... Well, they're right now, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, you know, there wasn't enough money in the world where they can throw at you to make you stay. And that's where I was, where it wasn't worth it in the money. But hey, now you're like set, right? Or no? Yeah. Yeah, I... I yeah, no. So I'm going just... back, would you do it all over again or no? It's an interesting question, right? Because you wouldn't have the wealth that you're talking about right now. Yeah, but I wouldn't be the person I am today if I didn't go through that. What do you think you would be? Softer. Softer? So then that sounds like a win-win, no? You're harder and you got more money. Yeah, I know, but then no one wants to be around people who are hard, right? <laughs> uh... <laughs> I feel like... Nobody likes to be held accountable. Nobody I feel like people like being around hard people, no? Not... Not... No one wants to be around soft people. Who wants to be around soft people, dude? Other soft people? Right? Like, fuck, why would you want to be around softies? Yeah, there any definition? I don't know. Like, that time there has given me the opportunity to read people and to figure out who's soft and who's not. I see. Who's like, going to get sodomized and who's not? Yeah. So, like, again, you didn't answer. Like, if you had to go back however many years, would you do it all over again? Knowing what's... I don't know. You don't know. I don't know if I'd do it again, because... Then maybe do it again, but for like four years instead of eight. Would I do it again? Does it sound like, again, you can't point out too many terrible things other than it was a bad situation. Yeah, um, a lot of Lots of people's jobs suck, right? Like, I'm sure they're not getting, like, shanked and forming gangs and whatnot, but, like, I don't think working at McDonald's flipping burgers is too, you know, joyous either. Granted, they don't even get paid, so. Yeah, no, right? I'm listening, yeah. Um, I would probably, would I do it again? I think, if I could tell my future, like, past in about it, would I direct them in a different route? Potentially, yeah, I think so. Which direction would you tell them to go? Don't do it. But, like, do what instead? Anything else? Anything else. Damn. Because it's like, it's like the short-term gain of wealth. You sacrifice so much more for everything else. Right. I'm guessing, like, during that time, there was no, like... It was lonely. Family, girlfriends, none of that shit, right? It was like It was depressing. So just eight years of like solitude. Yeah. I'd say. Was there like high speed internet at least or no? Yeah, it, there was internet and there was stuff like that. But it was just like, imagine being disconnected from all your friends and family and. Well, I don't have to imagine, man. <laughs> Living it. <laughs> but no, I can imagine that was worse. Right, yeah. and just being two thousand miles away from the nearest person you could rely on. Yeah. Yeah. No. That and sucks. So, yeah, that, and, and you know, it it was shitty, but it made me who I am today, and um, it is what it is, right? You, you, you can't is. deny that. You live and you learn, right? Yeah, you, you grow from it. But what did you learn about these people? Any, like, interesting things about these people? Like, they're obviously working people, in the same situation as you, but from a very different beginning, right? They, they people, actually started out in jail or prison or whatever. Yeah. Right? Uh, people are people. And it doesn't matter where they come from or where they are, people's true colors come out. Yeah. And you can you can smoke them out or you can't, but people's true colors come out when they are pushed to the extreme. So can you elaborate on that? Like an example of like... Oh, like... Something you saw? Well, there was one kid who kept pestering 
a specific reform in, and then what happened was they cornered him in the middle of the night and they said if you keep sodomized, if you keep pushing him, we're gonna take this rake and shove it up his ass. Damn. So this wasn't even necessarily for like their own sexual pleasure, they're just like raping no, there people was, for the sake of raping people. No, it was to send a message. Damn, okay. So it wasn't it wasn't nothing to do with sexual gratification, it was yeah. just more or less to send a message that we don't you don't fuck with us. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Yeah. So which gang were you part of? I was part of an, a particular gang where they didn't screw with us too often because we knew the higher ups and we were protected that way. But did this group have like a name? Like no, the it Crips. Was, and the no, it was like we were under Skip Bayet's crew, and uh, under his crew, we didn't. Uh, we were protected. Interesting. Very yeah. interesting. I would have never imagined there's like jobs out there where people form gangs, but oh yeah, people are clicky, right? I guess so. You know that. I know that, but you know, given the nature of my job, man, there's just, I don't even have coworkers. Never mind clicks at my job, so. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you never it's a know. Very right? different situation, obviously. Yeah, it's uh I have driven around former prisoners though, so <laughs> I guess we got that going. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure many future prisoners as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. And that's why you don't like judge a book by its cover. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to tell, man. It's it's hard to tell how people behave. We don't know how those people behave in terms of Prince's particular situation, right? Right. Okay. Well, thanks for sharing, man. Much appreciated. What's your YouTube video called? The channel is called yeah. Ride Light. This is the logo of here. Is it? Yeah, Ride Light is one word. 